Hi, I'm John Chen, and I'm at my first EO University. And now we're all watching EO TV. Hi, welcome to EO TV. I'm Randall Mauricio. And I'm Terry Apostle, and we're here for your full EO TV webcast. Yeah, you know, here at EO, we always try to bring the best uh, to our members. And today is no exception. You'll want to stick around because a little later, we're going to tell you about a new offering that members will want to take advantage of. Yeah, so why wait? Let's get this cast started. All right. The EO California University was held on April 7th to 11th in Orange County, California. If you weren't able to attend, don't worry. Here's a few of the highlights of what you missed. If you, if you sort of sit back and think, how can I make a lot of money? I don't think you make much money. I think if you've you really got to, to go into something because you feel you can make a real difference, and uh, you, you, you know you, you feel that you know. I mean, what, what, what is what is a businessman doing or a business lady doing? They're uh, they're, they're creating, you know, creating something. They're going to make a real difference, you know, to, to the to the public. Something which they can be really proud of, and that they're passionate, that they're absolutely passionate about. The next global event is the EO Cape Town University, November 10th to 14th in Cape Town, South Africa, of course. This event is sold out, but visit the website to find out how you can get on the wait list. Also, stay tuned for more details about the Texas University, April 6th to 10th in 2011. If you watched our most recent tip of the week, you already know the value of listening to Guy Kawasaki. He captivated his audience at the EO California University by featuring ways entrepreneurs can jump ahead of the next market curve. Now you can experience his 75-minute presentation on the art of innovation at your convenience. For a limited time price of $99, you can stream Guy's presentation onto your computer or download it to a mobile device and take it with you on the go. For more information or to purchase Guy's presentation, click on the banner to the right of the screen or visit the website below. Think you know where the world's economy is going? Well, we're going to find out. For the past several years, EO UK member Sally Ernst has been conducting an economic survey of the UK chapter that has resulted in some fantastic recognition. Yeah, now EO Global is joining with Sally to launch the world's first global entrepreneur indicator. The goal of this survey is to help entrepreneurs understand wider economic trends and plan their corporate goals accordingly. We'll also be sharing the results with academic institutions and the worldwide media to help raise awareness of the importance of entrepreneurship in driving the economy. So here's Sally to tell us how the project got started in the UK chapter. And stick around and we'll tell you when you can expect to see the survey hit your region. Uh, my background is I have a MBA and a doctorate that specialize specifically in entrepreneurship. And uh, my practical background is that I invest in businesses some of which have exited for up to 60 million Australian, some of which have failed spectacularly, but uh, I've learned a lot from those. <laughs> and we've been able to leverage the assets of them to, uh, to build new things, which is uh, fantastic, obviously. The other, the other venture that I have my hands dirty in is uh, around innovation and entrepreneurship research and education, and hence why I've gotten involved in this Entrepreneurs uh, Confidence Indicator. So I'm leading this uh, research. And uh, the premise behind it is that entrepreneurs are the lifeblood of any economy. So we do new things, we create new things, which ends up creating jobs, which means people have more money to spend, which then creates new businesses, creates new jobs, and so on, and uh, until it gradually raises the standard of living. Um, and so therefore, an important indicator for any economy is understanding what entrepreneurs, what level of uh, confidence entrepreneurs have in that economy. 
entrepreneurs' organisation, aside from being incredibly valuable to its members, is also a really well-defined group of successful entrepreneurs. So it's actually really hard to find a data set like that. And given we've got 7,300 worldwide, very, very attractive. So we put together the index, which is basically a rolling uh, continuum of zero to 200, where the baseline is 100, meaning we're kind of neutral about the economy. This one came out at 129, which indicates that we're slightly confident in the UK economy. So this was specifically for, for the UK entrepreneurs. Um, so that, that in itself was, a, was an interesting finding, given that we've only just come out of recession by a rounding error. But uh, <laughs> we're, uh, some of the other really interesting findings that we had were that, um, and this is quite a scary one, was that only half of entrepreneurs are innovating. And as we've just discussed, it, we, it, we're all about creating new things, which creates new jobs. Uh, so the, the fact that only half of us is, is, are innovating is, is scary and maybe that matches up with uh, the limitations that entrepreneurs saw to achieving that. The three major limitations that we see to growth or to innovation and growth are access to credit, client demand and the tax and regulatory environment. The first two are probably not surprising. The third one is very interesting and it, we think that this might be the driver for the other finding, one of the other findings that we had, which is one in 10 UK entrepreneurs are looking to move their operations and residents offshore. That's quite scary for the UK economy, but as we look at the global indicator, it'll be interesting to see where we're actually going and where we're going to create value in, in some other countries' economy. So what's next? Well, Terry, you can expect uh, to see an email survey in your inbox about mid-May. And remember, this is your opportunity to tell the world what you're doing in your business. Together, the best and the brightest minds in business, EO members, will show the world where the next great innovations will come from. And speaking of best and brightest minds, yours truly <laughs> has a motivational thought for you. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Wow, oh, that was quite good. Yeah. I'm sure there's a few people out there who will be able to take those words to heart. And that's why I do what I do. I sleep easy at night. <laughs> of course. And you know what else you should do is yeah. be sure to come back next week when Andrea Collins will be here with a tip from Tal Ben Shahar. I think I just might do that. <laughs> of course. Have a great week, everyone. Yeah.